Hey guys and welcome back. Today we are going to create multiple spinners. So we are going to have two different spinners with different data set and uh, the item that we are going to select in the first spinner according to that data the second spinner will be populated. So in this example I'm going to use the names of the Indian states in the first spinner and the second spinner is going to have the names of the districts according to the state that we select in the first spinner. Uh, let's just select any random state and then you can see according to that state the names of the districts are populated in the second spinner. Now we can select any of the districts and if we click on the submit button then we can see the name of the state which was selected as well as the name of the district. And also we have some sort of error handling like if we have not selected the district and we just click on submit button it's going to pop up a small error showing that the district is required and if we have not selected any state and if we click on submit then it's going to show that the state is required. Let's select any one state and if we click on submit now. Now the error part from the state spinner will vanish and now the error is on the district spinner so if we select any one district and then click on the submit the error from the district spinner will also vanish and we'll have the name of the district as well as the state selected so let's begin the coding and uh, i'm going to use the android studio just open it up and uh, create a new project and then select empty activity and then you can give any name to the project i'm just going to write multiple spinner Okay, we are in the main activity. And uh, we can start by the layout. First, we have to create the text view as well as the spinner so that we can refer to them in our main activity dot Java. I'm going to use the relative layout. It's very easy to layout the page using the relative layout anyways i'm just going to quickly define text view so that we can display some text i'm not going to get into detail of this and uh, i'm not going to use a string constant here so so instead of that i'm going to use a string value resource which means here i just have to reference the text which i'm going to save in the uh, string.xml and uh, let me just remove these four lines they are not required since we are using relative layout okay let me check okay Let me add some margin. I'm just going to change layout width to match parent so that it gets the entire width available to it from the parent. Anyways, then I'll just quickly define one more text view. I'm just going to give it an ID so that uh, this ID can be used for the layout purpose. In the same way, let me give the ID to the first text view. Then layout below is going to make sure that this text view is below the first text view. So we have to use the ID accordingly. Then I'll just quickly define it. All right. Let's add the text here. 
and I'm going to use the string.xml resource file for this as well. All right. Now let's define the spinner below this text view. Let's give it an ID. And this spinner is going to be used for displaying the list of the Indian states. And this spinner is going to be below the second text view that is the text view underscore Indian underscore states. All right. Now we need to define one more text view for the districts. So let me just copy this text view and I'll quickly paste it and change the ID. As well as its position that uh, that is it should be below the spinner of Indian states. All right, then let me just copy this spinner and I'm going to paste it again so that we can define the second spinner, which is for the Indian districts. And I'll just make the changes accordingly. Then below that, I'm going to define one button so that uh, we can display the selected state as well as that selected district using this button. Let us call it button underscore submit. All right, now let me give the text for the text view for the districts. Alright, so our layout is complete 